My octopus is showing impressive color changes of her own. Observing what we're doing. We've seen how closely the octopus we have here at the house is watching our eyes. You look at them and you feel like they're looking back. That's not an illusion. They are looking back. And so when you have an animal that's that attentive to another animal's eyes, that is very suggestive of high level of awareness of the world. Well, scientists do find questions about octopus intelligence particularly intriguing. At the Seattle Aquarium, they did some experiments giving different objects to octopuses and recorded what happened. In one of the most telling experiments, the researchers put a pill bottle in the tank with just enough air in it to float. There was no food or anything to be gained here, but still, a few octopuses found reason to be interested. Nothing happened at first, but after the fourth time, the octopus would, uh, would bounce, take the pill bottle, and uh, blow it out into a stream of water that was circulating around the tank. There it goes. And the, uh, the water would bring the pill bottle back to the octopus again, and it would start the whole thing over again. It'd do it again and again, blowing the pill bottle into the water and, until it came back, and then blowing it back into the water again. A bit like bouncing a ball. The conclusion from this experiment was simple. It fit all the criteria for play. Play, of course, is something that intelligent animals do. And Laurel spends many hours playing with Heidi. <laughs> now, now she's, now you say hello to me. Octopuses have up to 240 suckers on their arms. Each has sensitive chemical receptors. Heidi can touch and taste Laurel at the same time. Oh, she just, she just lightly jetted out. She doesn't want me to leave. Do, 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 do. Octopus also have estrogen, like humans do. Is it possible that Heidi can be detecting the estrogen on Laurel's skin? Does Heidi maybe taste the difference between males and females? Heidi, <laughs> her arm is now up my sleeve. That's fun. Heidi, you're, you're being, you're being naughty. She's lifting herself almost all the way out of the tank right now. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, now I'm wet. <laughs> the idea of Laurel having any kind of relationship with a mollusk is extraordinary when you think about it. This is an animal that has 600 million years of distance from us. That's almost as deep as any divide can be between two animals. With three hearts, no bones, a beak with a venomous bite, and a gut that runs through its brain, to one point of view, the octopus is completely alien. As science fiction movies have long demonstrated, humans spend a lot of imagination dreaming up what it might be like to meet an alien. The filmmakers imagine what it might be like to encounter a species that changes the way we think about the universe. 